Pretty good for a first attempt, but wait to- Oh, Jesus, what a beautiful man. Look at that jawline. He could cut me with it. And, um, oh, jeez. Am I allowed to show this on YouTube? What's up, guys? Welcome- <laughs> Guys, come on. We're shooting a video here. All right, let's do one more take. What's up, guys? What- Alright guys, buckle up. Today we're going to be taking a look at some serious art glow-ups. It's never too late, nor is it ever too early to start learning art, and I hope that with this video, you get inspired by seeing the progress that is possible from hard work. So I went into our Patreon Discord server and asked my beautiful patrons to show me their artistic progression. And we're going to take a look through all of these and give them a review. I'm probably not going to get to everybody because there's so many amazing pieces in here. We're going to be here for hours. But just because you're not in the video doesn't mean your art is trash, okay? It's me, it's not you. I mean, it could be trash. It's a joke, all right? I'm just keeping you guys on your toes. All of you guys' work is amazing. Or is it? Oh, no way. Look at this. This is the before. That's the after. Three years later, look at that difference. The planes of the face stand out a lot more now. The lighting is so much more confident. And Cup says, I never really do studies, but rather I try to make every drawing I make into its own study. So you do studies. What are you, what are we, ta what are you, what? God, I'm tired of these kids. Okay, so this one's exactly one year apart. The first drawing I feel like is already pretty strong, but wait till you guys see the second one. Boom. Oh, are, are, are you kidding me? That's insane. All in a year. I love that you've added a background now instead of just running away from it like you did before. Stop running from your backgrounds, guys. Stop it. Oh my God. First drawing is May 2020. Jesus Christ. Was this your first drawing ever? And boom, four years later, look at that improvement. It's not even close. It's not a competition. You've got a nice anime art style. You've got a full background here. The characters are nicely colored. Whereas before, that's a cyclops. And y'all want to see a lovely environment improvement? Check out this piece right here the two little beans chilling on a rock this was about six years ago versus now bro stop stop this is so beautiful this composition the trail of fish the planet in the background and this um as i'm zooming in i'm seeing a lot of textures here too these are beautiful textures it's amazing if i saw this i would have told you to seek help but you clearly already did that good 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 uh, good job two years ago versus now jesus that's this is almost photorealistic how the heck did you- If there's anything I'm going to pick on you for, it's got to be the collarbones. It looks sharp enough to give me a paper cut. JJ says, these are a couple of years apart. Okay, so this is the first drawing. <laughs> Come on, look at the improvement here. The colors look so good. Just such beautiful lights and shadows. And uh, I love the transition into the dark side by joining the digital artists. Welcome. This is from Mia. The first drawing is from 2021. And the second one is from two years later. Look at the improvement. Mia said that they used to use just an airbrush for almost all of the rendering on these drawings. And now there's much more confident brush strokes. If you're an art baby and you're watching this, okay, and you find that you're having the same kind of issues as Mia did, listen to me right now. You gotta drop that airbrush like how your parents dropped you when you were a baby. Try to paint with something that can create a hard edge. Don't be afraid of creating these hard edges. First ever digital painting versus now four years later. I just love seeing people discover their own voices and identities through the style of their work. And I, there's such a good style here. I love these vibrant colors. Look at these vibrant lines. And I can tell you've put my hatching brush to good use. Alexis, two years apart. That's insane. How did you do this? You know, I like to make fun of the next generation of kids sometimes, but I'll admit, sometimes y'all scare me a little bit. Your joke. 2021 versus three years later. What the? This was your first ever digital piece, and this is now. That's insane. One thing I've learned is not to rush into learning everything all at once rather than practicing one thing at a time. That's a very good point. For the babies out there that want this level of improvement, try to focus on one thing at a time. Learn one thing at a time. Very good advice. Marusa says, I've been doing art for years, so my recent improvements have been smaller. But here's my first digital drawing from 2009 versus my most recent one from 2024. I love that. I mean, we're talking about a long time here, and I think it's very helpful for people to see this because not all art improvements are going to come in like a year or two years. Sometimes you get that crazy beginner growth spurt and then it tapers off. But if you just keep up with it and say like eight, nine, ten years down the line, you look back at the work that you used to make, you would be absolutely amazed at how far you've come. And this proves that. Look at that. What the heck is that? Neek says, I'll be back in three years when I've actually made progress. Neek. I said one from before, one from now. 
How about we make some progress in reading comprehension? Oh, look at that. The before was two years ago, and this is now. I love the colors. And you've moved to digital art. My army of digital artists scroll by the day. But I found this super interesting because this individual got back into art at 35. And they said, I had a 10-year hiatus because I never got any better than my before drawing. All the way from five years old to 25, you've been stuck at this level. And it seems like in the past two years, you've really stepped outside of your comfort zone. You've started adding colors. You've started trying new mediums. This is what it's all about, guys. It's never too late. You can start back up at 35, even after a 10-year hiatus, and see some crazy improvement. This makes me happy. This one's about a four years difference from 2020 to 2024. Oh my goodness, the improvement in rendering is just nuts. I feel like your original drawing had a pretty cool looking character design. But yeah, my goodness, to get your rendering to this level in like four years. <laughs> oh. This one's a little bit different. Hyperbolt says that the piece on the left here is from December 2022, and the next one is exactly a year after that. I kind of like that you moved away from portraits and just started studying how to render. Hyperbolt says that my biggest takeaway from this is that hard work definitely pays off. Leo says this was from two years ago, and this is from now. What a beautiful man. And um, oh, geez, am I allowed to show this on YouTube? I started challenging myself with trying to learn anatomy. Yeah, you, you definitely have. I can tell. Um, <laughs> Oh, Nora, who is only 16, says these two are only one and a half years apart. Oh my, oh my. What the heck did you do, Nora? 1.5 years apart. Did you start watching Sam Does Arts within those one and a half years? Is that what happened? It's okay. I won't take full credit for your improvement. Only 90%. 2019, five years ago. Are you guys ready? Versus now. This is such awesome stylization. You've even got the textures here. I was very scared of trying realism, so I focused all this year in shape language. Yeah, I can tell. Sam says, wait, Sam? What the? Give that back. The first one's from seven years ago, and the second one is from now. I mean, the fur drawing's already beautiful, so you're probably wondering, where can we go from here? Well, look at that. I love that you didn't outline the fur on the paws. Instead, you just kind of let it fade out to the side. It feels very advanced. Annie says, this first piece was from two years ago, and this was her first attempt. Pretty good for a first attempt, but wait to, oh, Jesus, what a beautiful man. Look at that jawline. He could cut me with it. What really stands out to me here is just the improvement in rendering. The lights and the shadows fall so much more confidently now than before. These are two years apart. Two years apart? Oh, God. Oh, oh. God. Wendy says no jokes, but Sam's YouTube videos really helped me to improve and be more confident in my artworks. Constancy references and studies in basics are the key to improvement. Constancy. Wendy, I think you meant consistency. Wendy, maybe it's time to quit art and get back to your studies. Ishan's self-portrait from 2020 versus 2023. That is wild. You've truly improved the way you look so much. They look like different people. You went from a two out of 10 to a three out of 10. <laughs> Lunar Storm says the first picture was from 2020 when I was 10. Oh my goodness, you were a tiny baby. You were barely a toddler. I am now 14. I love it. I feel like your lines, your colors, I've gotten so much more confident. I believe this is still traditional art. Shout out to all the traditional artists out there. You guys keep that up, all right? You know what? I'm excited to see you grow. I want to see what your art's going to look like in another four years. This is great. Lucky Tigerkin says this piece was from 2022, and the next one is a year later. Oh, oh. Dude, how did you do this animation effect? I really like that. I wouldn't mind trying this out myself. That is very cool. Love it. All right, guys, that does it for this episode of Crazy Art Glow Ups. I hope that was as inspirational for you guys as it was for me because I absolutely love seeing these art improvements. Subscribe to my channel if you guys want to see more art content like this. Check out my Patreon for monthly tutorials and process videos, and I'll see you guys on the next video. God, I'm so inspired. S stop that. Stop it. All right, we gotta have a talk about this.